Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Cool Ninja Guy here. Uh, what I want to show you all today is the swirl effect, I guess is what I'll call it. I uh, did it my OCC 144 entry called Incredicool. Uh, it's this one if you haven't seen it. Uh, I'll play it here and I'll show you the example without all the color correction and stuff. But it's that swirl right there that I paused the frame on. So I'll show it from here and you'll see it swirl and then go back. And then I'll show it without color correction. So here's this. So is that little thing right there, right on the, uh, the screen pump if I can find it. Eh, nope, whatever. Um, and I'll show you without color correction here. So, we preview it and you'll see it looks a lot different without the color correction, but it's still pretty obvious. So it's that twist right there that I have on the adjustment layer. Come on, load. There you go, yeah, you'll see it right there. So it's that twist. You'll see there's the warping there, but since I have the black bars on, you can't see it. Um, yeah, so what, I'm just going to show you how to do this effect. So let me just delete the effects and the adjustment layer. It's just one effect, really. Um, I had this, you know, as like a... Not an effect on the shot, but an effect on the, the pump before the gunshot. So I guess that's how you, you can do it if you want. That's how I did it you can use this however you want it's a pretty easy effect to do and you can get creative with it so all you gotta do is type in liquify on your um, thingamabob or I'm really tired sorry guys uh, and it's a distort plugin so drag it onto adjustment layer or on your clip I just did it with adjustment layer and what you want to do is go to the frame where you want it to actually happen I think I did that two frames before let me check just my keyframing yeah I did three frames so go here, you go to where you want your effect to start, and head, click on your liquify tool. You want to click on one of these two, it makes a twirl. And I want to make the twirl two options, I want to make the brush size way bigger, about, I think I did 300, I might have, I don't know. But uh, I think I put this on 100 as well. And make sure you click the effect, click the adjustment layer, come on, there we go. And all you do is just go in the middle where you want it and just hold it and it'll start twirling. I only held it for about a second and then it got really twirled. Obviously this is a personal preference so if I wanted to make you know 500 I'm gonna have the brush pressure be only like 75 it means I have to hold it a bit longer. Click my tool again. Actually I'm gonna do the other one. There we go. So now it's a different twirl. Uh, just play along with you know play around with this until you find something you like once you have the twirl that you like I'm gonna do this a bit longer About right there so I held it for about four seconds And there's the twirl that I want all you have to do is keyframe the distortion percentage So right here click the stopwatch at 100% hit U to pull up the keyframes easy ease that with F9 I don't because it causes Camtasia go to the in marker or you know where you want it to like in the beginning where you don't want it to show up zero percent I, I keyframe this just like a screen pump so it goes up to a hundred and then at the end of my adjustment layer you know however you want it say like 30 frames later or whatever at my five marker frame after there I'm gonna keyframe it at zero percent so it just goes from zero to a hundred come on and then it just builds back down all the way down to zero. Pretty easy effect. I'll preview it again. Obviously, it's a different swirl this time. I think I turned it the other way, but it's a nice effect. Uh, I just found this playing around um, with the liquify tool, and it came out pretty good. So, if you want to try something like this, go for it. It's obviously not like I don't think I'm the one who invented this effect. I guarantee it's been done before. It's not extremely hard, but I like it. We'll probably use it more in my edits, even though I don't really do this style too much. That like aggressive heavy dubstep style that I did in the credit cool but yeah um, if you enjoyed this effect or you're gonna use it or just if you stuck around this long hey leave a like uh, you know comment asking for some more tutorials if you want and this is gonna preview in a second come on let's go so as you see the swirl wasn't as significant this time and this also looks a bit different because the screen pumps are there but the twitch and everything isn't so it looks a bit odd, but you know, in your final version of the edit, with you have your RSMB, your color correction, your Twitch, everything, it'll look nice. 
So thank you all again for watching. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment if you want any more tutorials. Go check out that edit. Incredible cool. It's gonna be in the description. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Cool Ninja Guy. I'll see you later.